Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. This is the second video of how I created my first painting collection. And for those who are here the very first time, my name is Julie Ji. I am a self-taught artist. In this channel, I'll share with you my art journey starting from zero. In the last video, I shared with you how I formulated the ideas for the collection and some of my painting process. I'll put the link in the description box for those who want to go back and watch it. All Things Grow With Love is my first painting collection that has 15 paintings of different sizes. When I have all the paintings finished, I just really like to take them outside and kind of do one final check for colors and just make sure that all of the pieces look great together. After two months of painting and learning and painting non-stop, I finally got my 15 paintings completed for the collection. And I would say the most challenging part about it is to make sure that they all look cohesive and that they look like they all belong together in one collection. So today would be the day that I will spread them all out, kind of evaluate the colors, see if there's anything that needs to be fixed. And of course, I don't have enough space in my tiny little room. So here we are, out here in the backyard. After weeks and weeks of trials and errors, I found a painting routine that works for my schedule. And at the same time, I was able to explore different painting techniques, try different painting styles, and discovered a style that fits my personality and that I truly, truly love. Today should be a very relaxing day. Well, at least that was my initial plan. It is the day that I'm gonna start all my paintings. Setting paintings is a very important way to mark the authorship of a painting. Um, I just don't think an artwork is complete without the artist's signature. The signature is an important form of branding. This really shows the viewer who made the painting and when the painting was made. And then I would check that name off my list as I went just so I could avoid using that same name for two different paintings. Choosing the name for each artwork is so important. To me, the name should be memorable and it should pair so well with the artwork because it's, it's really a part of it. Naming the artwork is the creative part that I really, really love doing. Love, love it. And I usually draw my inspiration from looking at the artwork itself or from listening to music or from reading a poem. Maybe I'll make another video to talk about how we can get extremely creative when it comes to naming our artworks. I've done a little bit of research but couldn't find an optimal way or a specific kind of pen that I can use to sign my artworks. So after some testing, I decided to use a gold marker. In many videos, you'll see me work on the floor, especially when it comes to larger pieces. Well, one day, I hope that I can build a studio with a wall display system so I can hang all my artworks up. If I have to vote for something that saved my sanity during the process, it's got to be something that is on wheels. And I have to make sure that I didn't write one title on two different paintings. This list is so useful. I found myself coming back to it several times during the process. Did I say that it's just going to be a relaxing day? Well, I ended up taking 3-4 days 
just to work on the titles and my signatures the way they wanted it. This week, I just have a good feel of accomplishment. Even though my project is not completely finished, but I know I've gone a long way and I just can't wait to hit the finish line. By the way, these are the beautiful roses that we have in our front yard and they are definitely a good inspiration for many of my flower paintings. For now, let's get back to work. Of course, I want to protect my artworks from dust, UV rays, and yelling. Varnish would offer this coat of protection. And plus, it adds a layer of shine that somehow, by magic, will pull the whole painting together and make it look even more amazing. This is the Liquitex Satin Varnish that I bought from Michaels. And I was debating between using Clotzy and Satin Varnish. But all of my artworks are already rich and vibrant in colors, so I think satin would be the perfect choice just to add a subtle shine to my paintings. I felt so nervous and excited at the same time when I laid out a very first press stroke of varnish onto my painting. How is it gonna come out? <laughs> I kind of know what to expect, but not so sure what to expect. Acrylics often become so dull when they dry up. This coat of varnish enhances the color and brings it back to life. People often say that painting is an amazing therapy. You know, I think that we should add varnishing to the list because it's just so satisfying and rewarding. You've got to keep good records of all your paintings. And that is one common advice that I've heard from so many different artists. At this time, I don't have a scanner that I can scan my artworks. And indeed, a lot of my artworks are pretty large. So the best way to do it is to photograph them. And by no mean that I feel confident about my photographing skill. So I order a studio lighting set from Amazon and really go back to the basic, try to learn how to take good pictures. If you ask me, is it difficult? The answer is absolutely a learning curve. I know, I know, if you are an artist, I know what you're thinking, that we want to use 100% of our time for painting, designing, creating. Today, to be successful in the art world, I think the artists have a lot more to do. We have to equip ourselves with a lot more skills, not just the creative skill, but technical skill, communication skill marketing skill, Instagram skills, just to name a few. That's a wrap. For the following weeks, I focused on editing and organizing the digital files of my artworks. I grouped my artworks into folders and I named each folder accordingly to the collection and the years that the work were created. I currently do not have Photoshop and I don't think my computer has the capacity to power Photoshop. This is the computer that I've been using for years. I just have so much files and photos in it. These are the photos that I'm going to use to build my website and to promote my works on Instagram and Pinterest. 
if I can squeeze in some time for Instagram and Pinterest. My website is now officially launched. I'm so so happy that I have a space to share all my artworks with you. Thank you so so much for following along this journey of creating my very first art collection. It's not perfect, and there are things that I wish I could have done it in a different way, but I'm glad that I had the courage to do it. To get updates on my studio and future project, follow me on Instagram at juliechi.art. The story and details about each artwork is now available on my website, juliechiart.com. And if this video inspired you, let me know in the comments. I can't wait to share with you many more videos like this in the future.